Today we're going to be shooting and doing a review of the 32 Smith & Wesson Long. Uh, this is a revolver obviously. Hold 6. And this is the ammo that we're going to be shooting is the 32 Smith & Wesson Long. And I'll do a review of that ammo as well. This one came with a holster. And I'll read off all the markings on this. Uh, the the closest date I came up with was 1914. So it's Smith & Wesson, Springfield, Massachusetts, USA. Patent February 6, 06, September 14th, 09, December 29th, 14. Uh, like I said, the closest date I could come up with was 1914 on this gun. It says Smith & Wesson on the barrel, which is a three and a half inch barrel. The trademark uh, symbol. On the other side, it has a 32 long CTG on the barrel over here. So if anybody has an exact date on this, um, feel free to put that in the comments, but I'm going to go with 1914 for right now. I was just given this on loan to uh, shoot and, uh, and clean up and make sure it was still functional. I'm sure there is a date somewhere maybe underneath the hand grips. Uh, to operate this, you got the hand ejector right here. But pretty much it's, uh, it's like any other revolver. You have a, uh, a double and a single action, which is really light. And then the, it's kind of a heavier, not as bad as a 357 or a 38. Um, so we are going to shoot this and see how it goes. And as always in all the videos I do, I like to put it up to some dollar bills. So you guys can kind of get a, a a reference the sights do not look like they've been ground down at all some sights on these older guns they will uh, they'll look like they've been ground down but you can see that front sights pretty big and the bluing just came off up there not a big deal um, so we are going to go shoot this and uh, these are available uh, at a lot of pawn shops around here which is the Dayton area of Ohio um, but let's go give it a go here we are with it in the holster and this holster is a uh, hunter's holster and it says 110019 for the model number but it's a basically you just put this on your belt walk outside and it's not too heavy um, even with when I put the bullets in there it's not too heavy of a gun at all uh, I would I would say it's probably about the same as my 38 um, that I have not my 357 but the 38 so we are going to shoot six um, shots just showing the gun we'll do three double action three single action and then we will do uh, six shots of showing the bullets hitting the targets all right all right so try to put this in there I'm going to try to shoot some pumpkins here <laughs> So that should be it. Yep. So that was the six double and single action. And I uh, hope those actually got on film. Um, I'm going to move the camera. I'm going to reload. And, uh, and then I'm, I'll point at the pumpkins as I'm trying to shoot them. And I'm at a distance of 30 feet. All right. All right, so that was uh, shooting the 32 with that uh, that 32 long Smith & Wesson ammo from Federal. And uh, check out the description if you want more 
information about the gun or the ammo and uh, I mean it shoots pretty straight the, it's pretty much point and shoot um, I wouldn't shoot it accurately much further back than 30 feet I'll tell you that but uh, it doesn't hop around a lot definitely less than a uh, uh, a 38 um, it has a little bit of a snap back but that's about it and it's, it's nice equally balanced little gun and it's, it's a pretty nice gun so I like shooting it and and uh, we'll clean it up and return it to the owner and let them know it's uh, it's good to go